Hi everyone, the human heart, a muscular pumping, dual pumping organ having right heart and left heart. It is having four chambers, two atrium and two ventricles. The atrium or the entrance way and the ventricles or the hollow belly. So, in previous lecture we have seen the external anatomy of the heart. In this lecture I will talk about the chambers of the heart and internal structure of the heart. So heart, it is made up of four chambers and forming the right and the left heart. So here we can see the anatomy of the heart, it is having the two atria, the right atrium and the left atrium, both are receiving the blood, but here the blood is poorly oxygenated. And here the blood is oxygenated and coming from the lungs. So we can see here the right atrium, the right ventricle, the left atrium which is on the back side of the heart. We can't see the left atrium from front of the heart and here it is the thick walled left ventricle. So this is circulation, the rich oxygenated or oxygen rich blood is coming from the left pulmonary veins and the right side of pulmonary veins. Blood is entering in a left atrium and from the left atrium blood is entering in the left ventricle and after taking a sharp or acute turn or forming an acute angle or U-turn, the blood is entering in the mitral wall or bicuspid wall to the ascending aorta. The aorta, the thoracic aorta is having three parts. The initial part is the ascending aorta the arch of aorta which is forming an arch 
and the descending thoracic aorta which will end in the abdominal aorta below the diaphragm and here it is the central tendon of the diaphragm and some left muscular part of the diaphragm below the diaphragm there is the fundus and cardiac part of the stomach and the liver and both sides are occupied by the left lung and the right lung so thoracic cavity is having mainly three cavities the right and the left pleural cavities which are having the right and left lungs and the right and left pleural cavities are sandwiching the mediastinum the mediastinum which is again having the superior mediastinum and inferior mediastinum the inferior mediastinum is having anterior middle and posterior part so the middle part of inferior mediastinum is also known as middle mediastinum this middle mediastinum is housing the heart and the juxta cardiac parts of the great vessels like the superior vena cava the ascending aorta the pulmonary trunk and the juxta cardiac part of the left and right pulmonary veins so blood is entering in left atrium through the superior vena cava the inferior vena cava which is having almost no thoracic course and as it enters in the diaphragmatic opening of the inferior vena cava it enters in the right atrium the poorly oxygenated blood please don't use the word deoxygenated blood there is no condition in the body like deoxygenated blood so blood is forming obtuse angle and entering in the right ventricle and after forming obtuse angle it is leaving the heart through the pulmonary trunk which is again dividing in the left pulmonary artery and the right pulmonary artery the left pulmonary artery is anterior to the aorta and the right one is behind the ascending aorta so this is the anatomy of the heart and i will talk about the internal anatomy of the right atrium in this lecture so the right atrium is having when i open this right atrium from this side and bringing the flap of divided atrium anterior and to the left so there will be superior vena cava the inferior vena cava the internal surface of the right atrium is divided in two parts the posterior part is smooth part and it is known as sinus venosus or venarum and it develops from the sinus venosum so it is known as sinus venarum the part which is forming the anterior surface of the right atrium and it is known as atrium proper and this is the rough part and this one is the smooth part 